Hi everyone, my name is Idil and welcome to my kitchen. I have an amazing recipe for you today. We're going to make a cake out of spinach. It's going to be very healthy, very wholesome and very tasty. Let's take a look at the ingredients first. I have some frozen spinach, some eggs, some coconut oil, some coconut milk, some agave. You can definitely substitute it with honey or maple syrup, some whole wheat flour, some cream cheese, Philadelphia would work great with this. Some raspberries, some baking powder, some vanilla of course. And I'm going to write down all the ingredients down below along with the quantity. So make sure to check out the description box as well. So first off, what I'm going to do is in my food processor here, I'm going to add all the frozen spinach. This cake is perfect for New Year's because it's when you cut it inside, it's very green. And we are going to make a cream with raspberries, so that will be red. So it will look wonderful and it's very healthy so you can definitely definitely give it to your kids uh, the recipe has been approved by my four-year-old my son he loved it and it's super easy to make so i added the spinach and now i'm adding the milk coconut milk i'm using to give it a great flavor and i'm going to process this until the spinach is really, really in bits and pieces, and then we'll continue. This is looking great. It's time now to make, uh, start making the cake. Three eggs. I'm gonna get them in my stand mixer here. And you know, anytime that you're making cakes, cakes, you're using eggs, make sure that they're room temperature, they fluff up much better. I share a lot of easy, wholesome, delicious Mediterranean recipes, so please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. I'm from Turkey, I have one of the largest cooking channels here in Turkey, and I've just started making English videos as well. So I'm adding agave shrub, but I'm saving about two tablespoons for the cream that we're going to make, and I'm also adding the coconut oil as well, and giving everything a good whisk. I'm adding a little vanilla, a teaspoon would be fine. And time to get in that spinach mixture in here as well, which will give it its color and make it really wholesome. So if your kids don't eat spinach, this is a great way to make sure they have it. And giving everything a good mix again. It's time to add the flour in. I'm adding the baking powder in the flour. I'm getting this in. I'm going to give everything a good mix one last time and then it will be time to transfer these in the oven. So our cake batter is now ready. I've got here two cake tins. I really like to use these small ones because it ends up looking super cute, when, uh, super cute when it's a small cake. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get this equally in two cake tins and put it in an oven that has been preheated to, uh, at 180 degrees and it's going to cook about 35 minutes. Once I take it out of the oven, I'm going to let it cool down for a bit, wait for 15-20 minutes and then we'll make the cream and then we'll put everything together. and this is my favorite go-to cream recipe. I'm transferring the cream cheese to the stand mixer with the remaining agave. And what I do is I usually make this and then I've, I will flavor this up with some frozen raspberries, sometimes strawberries, blueberries, whatever you have on hand. So I'm going to make a plain one first and I'm going to cover the cake with the plain one. And I'm going to add the raspberries to cover up the inside. It's gonna look wonderful. So I'm going to whisk this every, uh, until everything is fully incorporated. So this definitely is the easiest, healthy, 
and very very tasty cream recipes save this up you can use it to decorate cupcakes use it for your other cakes so I'm getting some of it and to the rest I'm going to add the raspberries but I'm going to process them first and saving some for the decoration so about two tablespoons and after it's in bits and pieces I'm going to add it in the cream Get the raspberries in here and give everything another good mix. Now is my favorite part, time to decorate it. Look how cute the cake is cooked up and once we see, uh, cut this you're gonna see it's going to be a gorgeous green inside. So and look how beautiful this cream looks with the raspberries. Give it a good amount of cream. easier when you're using a small spatula and when I'm decorating cakes I always put some parchment paper on my paper uh, on my plate so that all that cream that falls off from the cake does not ruin my plate and it looks super clean once I take it out the parchment paper out let's put some raspberries as I said you can do strawberries blueberries whatever you have on hand I'm going to put this, but the other way around. And I'm going to cover it up with this one here. And you can cover up the sides, you can leave it as is, however you prefer. I like to cover it up. After I covered it up with framboas, I've gotten rid of the parchment paper and look how great it looks. It looks super cute and it's always a good idea to let your uh, cake wait in the fridge for about 30 minutes before you serve it. But I'm not going to be able to wait because I'm too impatient. So now I'm going to cut myself a slice because I want to show you the inside as well. And look at this. Look how amazing it looks with the green and the red filling. It looks totally amazing. And I'm going to give it a taste and see how it tastes. Some cream, some more cream. <laughs> mm. Mm. Very tasty. The cake is really soft and the sugar balance is to me perfect. It's definitely not too sugary when the cake meets with the cream and the raspberries. It's a perfect balance. I do hope you guys give it a try in your homes and if you do, please leave your comments down below and please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Hope to see you next time. Bye!